The U.S. program to train and equip moderate Syrian rebels isn't exactly going as planned, and Vladimir Putin has taken notice. Only 60 of these fighters have been properly trained, and as few as four or five people actually carry weapons, while the rest of them have deserted with the American weapons to join ISIS. In an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes, the Russian president called the U.S. support of the Syrian opposition illegal and scoffed at U.S. involvement. The Pentagon has come under fire, and not just from Putin, for its apparent failure to train enough Syrian rebels to fight ISIS. The $500 million program has produced nowhere near the 5,000 fighters it's supposed to. It's a small number, and uh, uh, the ones that are in the fight is, uh, is, is we're talking four, four or five. During his interview with 60 Minutes, Putin reaffirmed his support for Syria's dictator, President Bashar al-Assad, who the U.S. and other Western powers accuse of war crimes. The issue will no doubt come up Monday, when President Obama and Putin meet face-to-face -face at the U.N. General Assembly, their first meeting in about a year. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.